Christmas for Kids is a multi-sensory show travelling around children's hospices. Welcome to our show. Most children that are in hospices aren't able to go to conventional theatre, so bringing a show to a hospice is bringing the magic of theatre, the magic of having imagination, fun, creativity, is bringing it to them. We hope you enjoy the show. I have two sons, the youngest is Eli, the eldest is William. William suffers from a condition called Angelman Syndrome. It's a genetic issue uh, and it manifests itself both in uh, a mental and a physical disability. But as part of that, he's also got um, very severe epilepsy. He qualifies as a child of a life-limiting condition to care from the treehouse. We bring different sensory props for them to be able to play with. We bring music, dance, sign language, just general festive story they can all get into the festive spirit with. On the fourth day of Christmas, the crackers going to be four scorpies, birds, three fancy pets, two woolly gloves, and a kiss from someone who loves me. It's really special because, um, particularly some of the hospices we go to where it's the end of life care, their child might not still be around by Christmas. So if we go in November, if we go in December, we're bringing Christmas to them, we're bringing some kind of festive fun where they can all get involved. It's not just for the child with a disability, it's for the family, for the siblings, where they can all interact. I mean, Christmas is a really, really busy time of year, I think, for everybody, and it can just be really, it can be wonderful, it can be quite stressful. Um, I think particularly when um, families who have children with complex care needs and additional needs, it's, it can be difficult to access things like a Santa's Grotto in a shopping centre or to go to a theatre and see a pantomime. So by providing um, these lovely activities at the treehouse, it means that families can access all these wonderful things, but in an environment that they feel very comfortable in, that's very accessible, that's really, really set up for their needs. It's a happy place. Most of the work and the most important work that's done is actually all the support that goes around whatever the condition is and tries to make it so that you can live as close to a normal life or experience as much as, that's as close to typical people might, um, despite what might be going on in your lives or the lives of your children. Panto is brilliant. It's in a nice, safe environment for the children. They make sure they come around and include everyone. It was fantastic. <laughs>